Reds, Hop Juju, Imperial IPA, 9% ABV, absolutely delicious. It tastes like a uh, less boozy hop slam, really super fresh and hoppy, just great stuff. We're here at uh, Fathead Saloon in, on Carson Street in Pittsburgh, PA, and this is their, that is their tap list up there. Okay, um, yeah, fried pierogies. Welcome to Pittsburgh. Okay, this is the uh, fuzzy wuzzy um, peach wheat that they make, 5.5%. Um, it's actually really good. My wife is drinking this one. Um, really good, tastes like real fruit. It's like a really, really good version of Dogfish Head's Apra Hop, actually. Um, really, really nice stuff. All right, so this is the beer list here. Today. Um, they brew a couple of their own beers out in Ohio, so this is what you're seeing here. This Headhunters IPA is amazing. It's a great West Coast beer. You'll see that here. This is what I'm having now. 100 plus IBUs, huge beer, 8.7%. Um, chocolate stout. They got a Stone Age Imperial stout. This is the peach wheat. And then here are the other ones. Right oh, Miller Lite, awesome. <laughs> Triple hot brood. Hey, we aim to please. All right, good news. Eric Brewer, aged old red. I don't know what that is. It sounds good. <laughs> so you get the idea. Good, good stuff. And they even have ciders. All right, this is the uh, killer chicken. It's a habanero chicken. All that habanero sauce, fresh cut potato chips. My beer is empty, but I'm getting an imperial stout next. The fat has stony imperial stout, so I'll shoot a review for it in a few minutes. Cheers. Hey guys, what's up? Chris here, BeerGeekNation.com. We are in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Fathead Saloon, enjoying some of their uh, brewed beers as well as bunch of taps for guest breweries I guess this uh, the beer I'm talking about is Bear Republic's Rivalry 8.2 percent Belgian IPA brewed with rye um, getting big you know pineapple really really ripe peach in there nice spiciness Belgian breadiness um, and as you guys can see there's a Belgian haziness to it really really nice tasting beer nice dry finished very West Coast great Belgian stuff probably the best Belgian IPA I've ever had all right guys be back with you in a few cheers Sandwich has eyes. Uh, what is that? That's like. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it there. Fried onion. And this, more importantly, is the Stone Age Imperial Stout for Fathead. Absolutely fantastic stuff. Coming in at 9.1%. Um, they brew all their beer in Ohio. They have a facility out there that they brew in, and they're actually buying the Trobe's old brewing system to upgrade. So. Um, just absolutely fantastic stuff. Maybe I'll do a review here in a couple minutes. Hey guys, what's up? Chris here, BeerGeekNation.com. We are in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Fathead Saloon, enjoying some of their uh, brewed beers as well as a bunch of taps for guest breweries, I guess. This, uh, the beer I'm talking about, is Bear Republic's Rivalry, 8.2% Belgian IPA brewed with rye. Um, getting big, you know, pineapple, really, really ripe peach in there, nice spiciness, Belgian breadiness. Um, and as you guys can see, there's a Belgian haziness to it. Really, really nice tasting beer. Nice dry finish. Very West Coast. Great Belgian stuff. Probably the best Belgian IP I've ever had. All right, guys. Be back with you in a few. Cheers. These things uh, pour magically. Not glycol, just water? Uh, glycol, too. Yeah. Glycol, yeah. That's awesome. But uh, we don't... Nothing running on them yet? Uh, we have two up right now. Is that the... the uh, we, we, we're slowly building up so that we can run three or four at a time, but so it's, what, it's tough. And that's the cast stuff all running yeah. through the And then we have uh, the board there. Nice. That's awesome. And then down here. Watch your head down here. Wow, this is so... <laughs> That's our beer walking over there, where everything normal is.
And then of course the uh, the home built cooler. Oh my gosh! The picture is looking through there, yeah. And what do you have from left to right? Oh, okay. oh my gosh! So the Sly Fox is on there. We've got the Harvested Bitter and Twisted from the UK there. Uh, vanilla Bean, Oak oh, Show, uh, Barrel Aged Gonzo, which uh, one of these days we'll get around to putting on. Uh, the East End Homewood Reserve. Wow. And then uh, the Voodoo is tilted up there. And then stuff that just came in I don't even know about yet. Weird German. Pedal Pale Ale. Uh, that's the, uh, the wholesaler. Oh, that's the Great Lakes. Uh, Great Lakes yeah. Commodore Perry. Uh, I live five minutes from Shrove, so kind of my backyard. Right. So that's their cast are beautiful. But uh, the uh, the import there, we just signed up with them. Uh, you actually have to get pretty much approved by them before they so put it on. So put it on macro. What's up? Put it on macro so I get it close a little bit. Right. That is awesome. But uh, we they had to come in see our setup before they send really? the because they don't want it sitting on the bar. We like to keep it chill. We just keep it in here. That way it's not too cold heading up there. It's the glycol system right, right there. That is and, oh and you got all the uh, all the oh yeah the, all the hardware. It's so awesome. How do you get the kind of get gotta get the mallet in Yeah. Yeah. Oh it's and we so bought awesome. we bought about thirty of our own kegs so that we can send them out to burn. That Apparently, uh, is what you have to do. Well, all right, guys. So we are here at Piper's Pub, and I don't know if you can see it. Um, amazing beer selection, craft beer, local beer. They have like a hundred scotches as well. You can get, and I'm going to be getting one of those here. And I'm not a big scotch guy, but I'm going to try it. Um, there is the draft list. List. Let me switch over to macro here so you guys can see it. 20 ounce dress, uh, cask, firkin of Sly Fox, such a county bitter, and Voodoo's wine. And they actually have hand pumps down there. And I'll, you guys saw that in the previous video, but they're on a very strict cask schedule. So here is all their beers draft root beer. All right, and I am drinking an East End Big Hop IPA, which is a local double IPA. This is the guy who does the gratification um, barley wine that everyone seeks after. He only makes 200 bottles and people like sell their first burn for it. I don't know if you can see it, but it's really cloudy. It's, it, it's okay. Um, not quite as hot forward as I like. Lots of caramel notes, malty. Yeah, so this is Voodoo Brewing from what? Clearfield, PA. This is their wine known as Big Brown Beaver. Uh, hand cask. Hand pulled by his name's Hart, right? Hart back behind the bar there. I don't think you can see him. Hand pulled over there, and I'll show that in a second. Um, big, big coffee taste, malt, caramel, toffee, delicious, light carbonation. Just a beautiful beer. Um, they have what Sly Fox's uh, ESB, right? Bitter ESB on cask as well. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go uh, get one of those as well. It's like a four percent beer, so. Delicious stuff. All right, guys, go for it. This is a uh, Sly Fox ESB. Chester County Bitter. It's gorgeous. Even got the good cascade on that one.